Joining BYU Sports Nation now for another Fast Friday is our boy, Brian Kill. And fittingly, it's Little B and Big B back together again. <laughs> By design. Yeah. For whatever yeah. reason, it, it's just ha- it's just ha- vacations, whatever. You've been together, I think, all but one all Friday but, since but, we've been doing all this. All but one. I think, you know... I, I, to me, I don't believe in coincidences or, or, or chance, man. It's destiny. I, I don't. I, I, yeah, you're right. It, destiny, man. I, I think, you know, the uh, the broadcast uh, spirits above are trying to tell us that we should have our own show or something like that. Okay. Destiny waits yeah. for no man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just want to say you dated yourself, Spencer, Why with that Jinko reference. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I never pulled those off. You dated yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Granted, a lot of your listeners probably, oh, okay, yeah, I remember those. But there might be some younger generation that are saying, <laughs> what are Jinko? Look it up. I don't know. Google what it. Dad. Google it. J N C O. Yeah, little B is too young. No. Jinko, right? Yeah. Little B is too young. I don't know. I still I have no idea what you're talking okay. about. Yeah. That's good. Fair enough. Good. You don't want to know. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's start with the news out of the Big Ten, Brian. Uh, we just learned a few minutes before the show started today that the Big Ten signed off on BYU as a Power Five equivalent in non-conference scheduling. They're the third Power Five conference to do this. What does that really mean for BYU? <laughs> Everything and nothing. <laughs> That's mean, a great answer. Yeah, it's like, oh, you know, they respect us. They acknowledge us. They recognize us. They appreciate us. Oh, but they don't. We're not one of them. It's like... You know, hey, so we have this club here, and you got to be a member of the club to get in this club, but you're, you're an honorary member, but you're over there. You can't come in here. You're not one of us, but you're like us, but you're over there. Stay, stay over there. Don't, don't come in. Mm. I'm, I don't know, man. It's, it's good. You'd rather have that than not have right. it. Yeah, that's the thing. You, you want it. But we want to be in the club. In the club. Yeah. I don't know. No, that makes that I'll make, take it. That, yeah, that, no, that makes, that makes sense to me, but – I mean, when when you look at the opportunity and you have a lot of teams or teams in that conference are now, okay, we need to schedule BYU. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and the opportunity that the team is going to have now, BYU is going to have to play those those opponents. I mean, it, it's just like any other schedule, right? Yeah. Any other team on the schedule, you have that much more of an opportunity to go out and be relevant and, and because you're scheduling more P5 teams to play uh, or, or to win. My question to you, Big B, is how difficult are these upcoming schedules going to be when you have <laughs> SEC, Pac-12, Big Ten, Big ACC. 12, yeah, ACC, all these different Power Five conferences on one schedule? It's time to put our big boy pants on and go to work. <laughs> it is, man. It is. This year, next year, those schedules, I mean, they're legit. It's It's time. So... I don't know what's being said in that locker room down the way there. I don't know what is in the minds of all those players. I know what would be in my mind and what I would be saying if I was still there. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's put up or shut up now. And, and they have the schedule now. They you know, now we get some clout, some recognition. Right, right, so right. it's time to show it. So let's let's go back. Let's rewind a little bit where we're getting recruited. Actually, where you're getting recruited, I never really got recruited. <laughs> you're getting rec- you're getting recruited, and you got a couple offers from a Pac-12 school, uh, maybe maybe a, a a Big Ten school, Big Twelve school, and then you have an independent like BYU come mm-hmm. to you, and they say and 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 they say, hey, look, look at the opportunity that you have by coming to us, coming in and playing for our school, and look at the many different conferences you're playing. Yeah. You know, two or three Power Five uh, teams. Uh, you know, within a given within a given uh, season, is, is that more intriguing for you as a oh, recruit yeah. rather than going into a a, a power five conference? Um, I, I wouldn't say more intriguing, but it is intriguing, and and I'd rather I'd rather be recruited with the schedule that BYU has now mm-hmm. than some of the ones they've had in your years past. Right, and for me, it wouldn't have made a difference. I mean, I'm, I decided to come to BYU when I was like four. <laughs> Done deal. <laughs> done deal. You came out. You were committed. Came up. Coming up. It was an early commit. You know, <laughs> it was a done deal. Um, but f- everybody has a different path. Everybody has a different walk in life. And and I've said this before. You know, like I, I want everybody to come to BYU, but but BYU isn't for everybody. Mm-hmm. And you know, sometimes we lose kids, and and that's great. And you know, great for them. It, and not everybody has to come here, but. The things that BYU does offer, this is just another one of them. Yeah. And you know, I've said this before, 
football and all of that on the list of why I came to BYU, I mean, it's down on the list of why priorities and, and, and reasons why I came here. But it's, it is on the list and it is important. And the program and the, the history and the pageantry of it is, is important. Now you have these schedules. That's just another mm -hmm. little icing on the side of the good BYU cake that I partook of. And a lot, of, a lot of kids are looking at and thinking about and maybe you're going to come enjoy too. Well, just from the Big Ten this year, obviously games at Nebraska to open, at Michigan. In the future, you have two games scheduled with Wisconsin. With Wisconsin. You have two games scheduled with Michigan State. Yeah. So the Big Ten, I, I guess we shouldn't be that surprised because yeah. BYU already had these games scheduled. Now Jim Delaney, the commissioner, has just made things official. We've had some really juicy conversations and <laughs> topics all week long, Brian. We've been waiting to ask you all of these questions that we've been discussing on a daily basis. Um, and when Brian brought up recruiting, the first one kind of floated to my mind between BYU and Utah and, and in-state. And BYU was in the national spotlight again with the BYU-Utah rivalry. Is the series going to continue? Is it not going to continue? We're in year two of the hiatus. And I'm honestly, I'm on the fence. I have become disenchanted with the <laughs> rivalry because of the current state of what's happening with them going to the Pac-12 and BYU yeah. being independent. And I lived outside of the state. And so... I don't know. I'm on the fence. Which way are you shoving oh, me? Oh shoot, man! This it 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 is essential. It is this is why is it essential? Part because it's me. it's history. Okay. Okay. It's I don't know what it is, but it's like a hundred years old. I don't know. I just threw a number out there, but it's old. Okay. It's <laughs> old. Okay. So it's the, you have the history of it. You have the recent history of it. Okay. So for us, it, it it's important because you know what? It's hard for me to say it, and this is blasphemy to say it from this program. But Utah's had our number lately. Mm -hmm. They have. True. That's no revelation, nope. but it, it still is blasphemous to say that. But they have. <laughs> they, they have had our number, and it pisses me off. Mm. Sorry mm. for the pay channel language, people. <laughs> but it does. It pisses me off. It, we haven't beat them since 2009. That's a joke. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Want to know what I want to do? I want to play them. Okay. We can't beat them unless we play them. I want to play them. And I'm sick of this not playing them crap. Well, you get to next year. Sorry, you not just you personally. That gets me. It gets me fired up, man. Cle it just, clearly, yeah, it gets me fired I'm with, up. I'm with, I'm with you, man. I I agree. Especially, I, I think us as former players, it's a different. It's a different, it's a different game. It's a different mindset and mentality when it, it comes is. to that. That that game, right? Don't there. tell Bronco I said this, but Bronco, whenever he says that it's this, another game, <laughs> it is not another game. <laughs> And he, he knows it's not just another game. That is coach talk. Sorry, Bronco. I just outed you. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, man. Brian Keel Don't continues let him know. after this. <laughs>